Hello and welcome to the first of the videos in this series uh, which are going to look at diagnostics and problem solving for your ringing system. Now the information we provide in this series of videos uh, will be based around the Symbel wireless ringing system. However, a lot of the information is applicable whether you have a wired system, for example, the Bagley system, or whether you're using Belfry or any of the other uh, ringing systems. So this, in this video, we're going to talk specifically about COM ports and the connection between uh, a receiver or your ringing system and your computer. Traditionally, uh, the COM port was, or communications port, was on all laptops and desktop type systems as a nine pin D type connector. These were large, ungainly, and of course with slimmer laptops, uh, the port used to take up too much room. And therefore what has happened now is that the more common USB port has been uh, turned into a COM port through a piece of software called a driver. So when you plug in uh, a USB device into your computer, you'll find that it appears as a COM port. So as far as the, the operating system and any software you're running, it appears as the COM port that it's expecting. Now on modern laptops, there will be a number of USB ports. Uh, on this machine particularly, uh, we've got two at the side here and one at the back. There's other HDMI ports and video ports, uh, power sockets, network ports, uh, but we're interested in the USB ports. Now the USB port is basically a power and data connection. So with any USB device there is a number of connectors in the end of the cable. So the first thing that we must say is because it's uh, taking power or providing power, you must be careful that when you plug and unplug that the, the connector both on the cable and in the laptop is not damaged. If you look at the connector in a typical laptop, you'll see that there is a piece of plastic in the middle that corresponds with the piece of plastic in the cable. When you plug it in, you'll find that the two interlock and provide a good connection. If the cable is damaged or that piece of plastic is damaged or the piece of plastic in the connector is damaged, then you must not use that port. There is a chance that the uh, five volts that are in there will short against one of the other pins and that could in fact short out the whole power supply to your laptop. So physical connection is very simple. Now when you connect any device to a USB, you will find one of two things will happen. So if we go over to the laptop and we bring up what's called the device manager, we can then have a look and see what actually uh, happens. So if I right click on the start button on this Windows 10 machine, there is an option for device manager. If I select device manager, I get the screen up and this gives me a list of all of the hardware devices that are located on this system. If I scroll down you'll see there is a section here called ports common LPT. If I open that up without plugging anything in I have two COM ports on this machine uh, COM port 6 and COM port 7. Each port is numbered. Remember that we'll discuss that again in a, in a short while. And these are for Bluetooth connections to this particular laptop. It has Bluetooth, so I can actually connect a Bluetooth device and it will appear as a COM port to the system. If I take one of our receivers and I plug the USB port in, you will hear a noise like this. And we now see that an additional COM port device has been detected and it's seen as a USB serial CH340, that's what this receiver is, and it's set as COM1. Now we must remember that COM1 is the port if we use this particular USB connection. If I unplug it from here, and again you'll hear a noise when it unplugs, and move it 
to another COM port and plug it in again. Again, it will arrive on the screen. The screen will refresh after a second. And we now have COM port 2. If we have multiple COM ports, so we go to th three or four different ones, each one generally will give a different COM port number. And it's very important that you remember this COM port number because when you configure the software, you have to tell it which COM port to use for your receiver. So when you plug in a, dev a Symbell device, you hear the, the noise again. And you'll see on the side here, when the port actually detects, you get three flashes, two short, one long. And this means that the connection has been made, it's got power, and, it, and the receiver is quite happy. If you're not seeing that flash of light, or you don't hear the noise, or you don't see the port pop up, uh, under the port setting in device manager then potentially you've got a problem either in the device or with the cable with the socket itself or with the USB connection within the laptop so it could be any of those things easy way to test is to actually plug the receiver into another device and see whether you get the noise uh, of a connected USB device so with your USB ports you must remember the COM number. If you have problems with a connection between your receiver and the laptop, then the first thing to do is listen for the noise. If you can't hear any noise, then always make sure that you've turned up the volume on your, uh, on your laptop. It's very easy to mute them. A lot of buttons on the top of the laptop will actually mute the sound. Uh, so check that the sound is turned up. If you still don't get it, inspect the ports. Have a look. Is the port broken? Is the plastic missing? Is there a, a, uh, a connector that's damaged within the USB cable itself? Plug the receiver into another device, see whether you get a connection there. If you are getting the connection, you're getting the flash of the light on the side of the receiver, make sure that in Able or Virtual Belfry or Bell Tower that you have the correct COM port set up uh, in the software. In Virtual Belfry, you can set up profiles that are different for each COM port. If you then find that you have to use a different COM port because it's not convenient or you get a better connection um, on a different, a better connection, putting the receiver in a slightly different place to the transmitter, then uh, mark the COM port with a small sticky label to say which one it is and then change the set up a new profile for each COM port and you can just quickly uh, flick between them. So that's connecting your receiver or your ringing system to your laptop. We hope this is useful. If you have any comments, uh, please, you can either post them uh, down below uh, on the, in, the, uh, in the response section or alternatively, of course, email us. We will, uh, we will try and help you out with any problem that we can. So we hope this has been useful and good luck with your ringing.